Okay, this video is kind of a uh, an experiment. I saw a guy doing a uh, video, and what he did is he he was doing a cuttlefish bone, and he actually had a had a piece that had a hole in it, like a bezel, um, and then he took a piece of wood, and he fit it in there so that he could actually do the cuttlefish bone. He cast around the wooden dowel and it, and it left the hole for the um, for the bezel. So I'm going to try it with sand casting. So I'm going to take the side that has the grooves in it. I'm going to put that down. I'm actually using uh, the Delft clay here because I want this to be... It, this is a... Uh, a wax and I want it to be as um, compact as possible in the future I'll try it with uh, Petrobond and maybe even a mixture of the two so this might work might not so once we get that packed in there I want to scrape it off. And I like to take my thumb and push down right here. Pack that down. So now what we do is we take, and i got to find my uh, talc. Let's see, we'll use this. So we're going to talc the side of the piece here. Get that really good. And we're going to, let's see, I think I'm going to, hope I didn't make that too long. I guess we'll do it like that. So this is a wax, so i got to really kind of push down. Very easy here, I don't want to break my wax. Uh, this is a soft injection wax. So now with the Petrobond, this would be a lot easier because it's much softer. But anyways, we're gonna we're doing it this way. So now we take this side. You want to make sure you line it up on the side here. And we're gonna take a little more talc, put it in there, and what the talc does is it. It makes it so that the two sides come apart easier. I want to pack that down really well. The more compact it is, the easier it comes apart. Scrape it off. Okay, at this point we want to pull this straight across, straight apart. That's pretty good right there. So now the big thing is going to be getting this out of here. I find it kind of helps to have a kind of a pocket knife. Kind of loosen it up all the way around. Not too bad here. Let's see. Piece kind of came up right there. We want to pack that down a little better. If I was 
not doing a video, I would really take my time. Okay, so the next thing, you want to cut a funnel. You want it really sharp. You want that molten metal to know right where it's got to go. You don't want any obstacles in the way. You don't want it to have to make a funny turn. Okay, that side's really good. Now we'll come back to this side, side here, and we're going to cut our funnel into that side. And let's see here. I find the end of a paintbrush works great when you don't really have a sprue and you need to form one. It's nice and smooth. It's about the right size. Okay, so on this side, we're going to have our vents. With Delft clay, you got to have vents. And what the vents do is they help release the air and the gases built up. So you want them to break through into your pattern and go out the grooves. So now, the real important thing you don't want to forget is that this piece that I cut out needs to go back into here and sit just like that and it actually might be easier since this side is shallow so what we'll do here move this stuff out of the way so we're going to put it in this side instead since this side is deeper. Just like that. So we're going to want to line this up. Okay, so we've got a really nice hole going down in there. You want to make sure that there's no little granules of sand. You want that to be nice and flat. Tighten that together. Now we'll get the torch going. So I'm using a Hoke torch with propane and oxygen. Uh, map gas works fine. Not quite as fast as this. If I'm making a video, I want it to get done fast. I have sterling silver, this is about an uh, ounce and a half. You always want to remember this is gravity, and so you want to have enough metal 
to really push it down into that hole, fill the mold. Tip it back and forth. Make sure you heat it all the way through. When it gets pretty close to molten, I like to put a little borax on there. Makes it flow really nice. Tip it back and forth. Heat the end. Dump fast. Okay, tweezer would have been nice. I had more than enough metal as you can see. This is so cool. I wish I had a tweezer. Let me see here. I I got the cast and I've got the hole here you know it's a little bit more uh, experimenting or taking my time this is a this is a a huge uh, experiment here it's going to make such a difference to be able to have a negative area simply by using a, a, a piece of wood. So I guess that's about it. Um, I'll clean this up and take a picture of it. All right, thank you.